Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, August 26th, and today is the Monday recap where we'll talk about where we stand for Tesla, Kony, Nvidia, and Misty. Unfortunately, my Saturday video uh, took over 24 hours to upload. So you kind of just got the update yesterday uh, for those of you that watched it. But if you didn't, or even if you did and you still want the update, here we are. Um, so, you know, I'm still not home yet. I'll be home tomorrow, back to normal. But I am at least in, you know, back to a place with Wi-Fi so I can have, you know, the Internet so I can see what the hell's going on. Here's the, the headline on Market Watch. Powell says, time has come for rate cuts. Here's the opportunity for investors. Okay. So I guess they're still talking about rate cuts that may happen and maybe the market will be green this week. I have no idea. Again, whatever. All right. So let's just go to the spreadsheets and see where we stand heading into this week. And we will go on in order of fund launch date. So Tesla. Being the first one that launched of the group and the first one that launched overall for Yieldmax, you know, their flagship. So they have a synthetic 210 and they have a synthetic 215. So this is their position, their synthetic position um, where they hold, you know, obviously they hold more contracts than the 210, 30,648 contracts. Um, and they hold 1,315 contracts on the 215. Both are in a good position because Tesla is priced at 220 at the moment. However, this synthetic position, it expires in 54 days. So, you know, what they will do before then, who the hell knows, right? So this, you know, if you look at the 210, for example, that's the lower one. They're only up 4.91%. Um, but, you know, if they get in trouble in the weeklies and Tesla, you know, jumps up really high, then they'll probably close it out and move it up, right? That's what they could do. Uh, but yeah, the synthetic, obviously, all it does, you know, it's it's one job is to follow the underlying, move with the underlying. Now, let's look at the trades headed into this week. Um, we got two strike prices. We got a 222.50, um, 1,315 contracts at 222.50. And that one is now 0.99% out of the money. So the question, you know, that is not in a good position. Obviously, we have five trading days. That's terrible. And then we have 30,648 contracts, 225 strike price, 2.12% out of the money. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> the synthetics, you know, as long as those synthetics are below the strike of the weeklies, then we should be making, you know, a little more money as these, you know, get blown through, right? So the 1,315, that shows 22250. And then this one shows 215, right? So 215 is lower than 22250. So this call, this buy call will make more uh, than, it should, than it would cost to close this weekly call, hopefully. Again, this buy call expires way, you know, October 18th. So, you know, we can look at the <clears throat> the holdings. If I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but we'll look at the holdings to show you guys that. And then obviously we have the uh, 225 strike price uh, for the 30,000 contracts. You know, 210 is way below 225. So, again, it's just, uh, just a bad position to be in, though. Uh, we don't want to have base, you know, we, want, we don't want to get blown through when we have a 2% update, right? Or a 3% update. It's just crazy. But anyway, what did what was their annualized yield? I'm showing it was 50% and 61% when they did open those positions. So it's not even that aggressive. It's just the IV maybe was not there, right? Um, you know, but it is what it is. So what's the reaction? You know, unfortunately, you, you kind of want Tesla to do this, right? I was looking for a flat line, but this is even better, right? Go up go down, come back up, go down, come back up. You know, we, we want really small gains or no gains in the end. Uh, payment information, no need to talk about this again, but basically there is no taxable income for the month of August. So there's nothing to estimate um, for Tesla. Um, obviously, they are not playing with house money yet from from launch date, right? They pay, Since launch date, they paid out 24 dollars 
And since they had a reverse split, their launch price reflects 4008. So they are far from house money. Now, if we look at the holdings again, we can see what I was talking about. You know, the buy call, very valuable, right? Um, the two, t let's look at the small one actually. See, 1,315 contracts. Uh, the 215 is worth 2.8 mil, right? The weekly for that to close is 614,000. Obviously, there's also a put we have to consider, right? <clears throat> the 215 for the put, you know, that costs 1.9 million to close. <clears throat> so you'd have to net the two before considering how much you're gonna actually gonna make, right? It's about 900,000. So again, between the two, you're still priced above what you're gonna get killed in on the weekly. But again, it's just showing you they're, you know, they're at least in a good position. If the synthetic um, was priced above the weekly, that would suck. All right, so I have this little formula here. Let's make sure it's uh, it's correct, right? We got uh, we're pulling up all this crap. It's very hard to see here. Um, okay, still accurate. So what this formula does is it calculates what the synthetic bailout number will be. And if they closed all of the trades as of Friday, they would make $26.3 million. So yes, their weekly calls are in Schitt's Creek for the week. Uh, <clears throat> we want Tesla to not move or go up a little. <clears throat> However, if Tesla just decides to fly high, you know, to moon, then we will just have to take, you know, talk synthetic bailout and see how much we're going to make, Okay. So let's let's be ready for that discussion. Net asset value of Tesla is Tesla is seven hundred and twelve mil. The NAV is fourteen oh four. Trade price fourteen oh two. I'm still out of it, by the way. So hopefully tomorrow I get back to normal. Um, but this was not, you know, I would not consider this a vacation. Uh, definitely not. I'm just glad it's over. All right, synthetic one sixteen. Let's talk about Nvidia. They have one synthetic position. Um, I believe, correct. All right, uh, 79,490 contracts all on the 116. This synthetic expires on 920, 26 days away. Very good position uh, that this synthetic is in. Uh, they're 11.53% above it. They're probably not going to touch it until after earnings. Um, again, that's my guess because earnings can, you know, make or break. Uh, but everyone is always expecting good earnings out of NVIDIA. Now, earnings is this week, right? 828, what the heck's the 25th? Um, so it's coming up. Now, what about their weeklies? You know, we know weeklies, weeklies aren't good for any, any of these. You know, it's just, it's just not, not very good at all. Now, look at this. I don't mean, I mean, <laughs> 20,000 contracts, 124 strike, 4.15% in the money. 59,490 contracts, 130 strike price, 0.49% out of the money. So, I mean, what can you say? Um, the the yield on the 20,000 contracts, it looks like they maybe went, you know, too aggressive. Again, we don't know the timing exactly of the trade, but I show it was the 91% yield. And then the other one was 75%. That's kind of in line with the 30-day IV, but either way, man. These are way, you know, and I know they, they sold these two weeks out and, you know, they were further out of the money then. They were 5% out of the money, which two weeks, 5% out of the money. Still not good enough, clearly, because look at the position we're in. So, you know, we're capped. We are capped. We're capped. So we're capped on earnings week. Horrible. Horrible place to be. But we'll take a look at the holdings to see, you know, we'll recap what, what the synthetic bailout will do for us. Um, unfortunately, if you want to win the weekly calls, this is the direction you want to go. Uh, down and to the right. Down and to the right. And payment information. Again, horrible month for NVIDIA as well. Overall net income is a loss. So again, I have no estimate to provide you. It's going to be an interesting estimate month to say the least. Um, so these, again, these are the holdings as of the close on the Friday. And not much to change to or to talk about, but you can see again the weeklies as Nvidia pr probably goes up. You know, again they've been having really good earnings and good reaction to it. But assuming it goes up, these this blue here, the the negative number is going to grow, 
And as that negative number grows, this net asset value will decrease. However, as NVIDIA grows in price, this orange number will grow in price, pushing up our net asset value. So it's going to be, you know, the battle of the synthetic versus the weekly. I could make something, um, I should make like a something for that. It'd be fun. And then we have, of course, the put, right? This is the, uh, the put that they sold. As, you know, as the price of NVIDIA goes up, this put will be a little cheaper and cheaper to close out. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. But either way, I did, ha I do have this formula here which again should be accurate, four numbers, let's just assume it is. Uh, but right now, again, as of Friday, um, the synthetic bailout number we're looking at is 48.6 mil. So yeah, like I said, unfortunately, we're, we're playing the synthetic bailout card on, I think, all of these at this point. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but 48 mil, it's a pretty good number. Let's see if that will put us in the positive. Um, it will. It'll put us in the positive. 20 mil and you know what would that payment be probably not too much but we'll see when all said and done but at least they're currently at least as of friday over 1 billion their nav is 2574 and trade price 2571 okay so that's tesla that's nvidi let's go to coney see if we're any better here they have three synthetics they have a 210 a 200 and a 195 okay the 210 and the 200 both expire on September 20th, and both um, are in the positive. You know, the 210 barely in the positive, and obviously the 195 very much in the positive. Um, but we'll see how they play out and how they use them. But let's check out the uh, the weeklies. So if we get all this, yeah, we could zoom in here. There we go. What a beauty. Now. Um, similar to the others, uh, Coney's, you know, their strikes are super tight. Uh, 17,100 contracts, 215 strike, 1.7% out of the money. 15,950 contracts, 217.50 strike price, 2.89% out of the money. Um, obviously, the, you know, not ideal, not a great, you know, I mean, it sucks. What, what more could you say, right? Five trading days. And we, you know, super risky, super risky play. Look at the annualized yield, 69% on both. 30-day IV, 63%. So it's hard to really, again, their, their goal is to try and yield you, you know, typically the same, you know, uh, percent that the 30-day IV represents. So the 30-day IV for coin shows 63%. So they're yielding around 69%. So it's kind of in line with what you'd expect. So, I mean, I don't know. This is why some of the, sometimes like it's like unfortunate, um, but unfortunately like they go really close. Obviously the one was 8% out of the money when they made the trade, but the other one, I mean, that was 2% out of the money. So it's like, come on, man. All right, let's look at the reaction. Yeah. Exactly. Um, estimate, estimator. So, oh yeah. So if we go back to the August tab, they do actually have income so far, 23.6 million. Um, and that converts to 58 cents per share. So ROD estimator can be used. Th this poor ROD estimator is barely being used from these funds because they can't produce income. But at least Coney's here. Uh, we're showing 89 cents or a 64% yield. Yeah, yuck, yuck, yuck. Now, obviously, we got a lot of we got a lot going on here, man. Do we want to talk synthetic bailout numbers? I mean, I guess we don't have to on Coney yet because they're not in the money, but they they will be. Um, and if they if they are after today, I will add that field for you guys so we can see where we're at. Um, because you know, at that point, there's no point on talking about the weeklies anymore. It's just a matter of how much money can they make on the synthetic you know, synthetic roll, <clears throat> you know, netted with the weekly call loss. All right. Um, because how, why harp on it, right? If we're blown through, just let's just move on and say, you know, let's calculate how much we're going to make. And at least that synthetic money, you know, that income will probably be priced into what we're going to get paid on, you know, for the month. Uh, net asset value of, of Coney is 690 mil. The NAV is 1679 and the trade price is 1681. 
Okay, last but not least, Misty, you know, number two goat. So, does he? do they deserve number one goat? Let's see, 31,735 contracts. That's uh, all on one synthetic, 139. Again, this synthetic is doing very well. However, this synthetic expires in 54 days. Do they want to touch it? I don't know, right? Let's check it. Let's take a look at the weeklies, right? So last week, they lost, right? They lost a lot of money because they waited until Friday to close their positions when they could have closed them on Thursday and made money. However, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. But again, you can't, you can't play around with MSTR. You'll get burnt. You'll get your ass burnt. And they are already burnt for this week. Um, so they have three strike prices, so they're kind of scattered. However, they're all in the money. Every single one is in the freaking money. Lowest of which is a 146 strike, 380 contracts, 2.67% in the money. Second lowest, 148 strike, that's 330 contracts, 1.34% in the money. And then they have over 30,000 contracts, uh, actually around, yeah, but it looks around 31,000, but whatever. Contracts, 150 strike. That's barely in the money, but it's in the money by 0.01%. Their annualized yield on these trades, again, I don't, this cannot be confirmed unless you actually look at the time of day that they made the trade. This is just all based on, you know, the close activity, but this is what I'm showing, okay? Uh, the bottom three, the 146 and the 150 uh, strike prices, 200% out of the money and 150%, I'm, I'm sorry, 200% yield and 150% yield. Look at their 30-day IV, 82%. So, I mean, they, I don't know. They went way too aggressive. Either that or they traded it way too early and they just got their butts kicked, man. But, I mean, MSTR to start the week like this, it's going to be ugly. This is why we just got to, you know, we're waving the flag. So, it's over. It's over, right? Because MSTR, you know, our luck, it'll just fly high and we'll, it is what it is. But at least we have uh, short call income, 7.6 million worth. So we run that through the uh, estimator. Again, that produces 40 cents as of now. And then estimate, estimator shows 63 cents, 30 percent yield. Everyone would shit their pants if this is actually what they'd pay. But there's no way. So <clears throat> now, should we start talking synthetic bailout on this one? Yeah, we should. We should. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do equals and then we'll add the call in orange. Okay, that's how much they'll make for the call. But we also have to deduct out how much they'd have to pay to BC the put. We know that. And then here's their three strike prices. This is how much it would cost to close the three strikes. This is as of the Friday close numbers, though. So that obviously that'll change. But we'll keep a running tally as we go through this week and see what our synthetic bailout would, would give us. As of right now, our synthetic bailout money would produce $17.6 million. Now, if you go back to the payment tab and you checked out what that'll do for us, um, you know, it'll net income wise, it won't make us positive, unfortunately. But, you know, if we get blown through and the call becomes much more valuable than the, the weeklies bring us down, then it could uh, produce income. But and again, this is a rough month. We may not turn positive, um, but we'll see. The net asset value of uh, Misty is 478 mil. The NAV is 2507, trade price 2515. Okay. So that's the update. It's a bad update. I know. Uh, what can you do? It is what it is, but we'll see. Maybe pre market is red doubtful but we'll see um let's see if i'm actually parked in the street let's see how good this uh internet is uh tesla okay tesla red you know do we want tesla to be red uh i do um obviously the calls do we want every f f all four funds essentially to be red pretty much for the week all right tesla is down 0.01 percent this is as of 5 27 a.m Tesla is up. What the hell? It's up 0.29%. It's at 1406. NVIDIA is green. It's up 0.97%. It's at 13062. Don't want that to happen. NVIDIA is up 0.78%. It's at 2591. 
Coin is up 0.53%. It's at 212.53. Kony is up 0.42%. It's at 1688. MSTR is up 0.51%. It's at 15078. MSTY is up 0.52%. It's at 2528. TSLL, obviously not updating. Um, they're standing still at 1025. Man, <coughs> TNA is crazy. Uh, TNA is up 2.27%. It's at 4550. AMDY is up 0.2%. It's at 1499. AMZ is up 0.62%. It's at 1950, approaching that $20 mark. Uh, BTC, Bitcoin, is down 0.87%. It's at 63656 So saving grace here is Bitcoin is down. It's looking red. So maybe MSTY, or should I say MSTR, and Coin will go down today as well. So yeah, that's the update. That's the Monday recap. Um, you know, as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you were entertained. If not, we will try again next time, right? Tomorrow I should be back into the garage where I will sweat appropriately as I make the video. And hopefully I, you know, get back to some normalcy again. Um, but thank you all for bearing with me during the no Wi-Fi stage of uh, the Retire on Dividends videos. <laughs> Obviously, I owe you guys a Defiance video as well. I'm going to try to produce that today at some point. Um, they also, it looks like they declare this week, they declare their distributions. Um, so I'll have to throw in an estimate in there just for fun as well. Um, so... Um, what the hell? What else? What else is there? Um, you may have seen that, and I could talk about this more tomorrow. I did set up a, there's an, there's two types of memberships here. Um, I know I said I never would do it, but it got to a point where some people are, you know, looking for, for a little more or just asking how to support the channel. So there's an ROD supporter option, you know, I guess that's the 99 cents, which that just gives you emojis. That's just for people who want to help out the channel. And then there's the ROD Wolfpack um, that, you know, I'll try to do some, a little more personal content uh, when time allows. Again, I'm just starting it off, so bear with me. Um, and I'll, I'll cover the details of that maybe in the beginning of tomorrow's video for those of you that care, but you can check it out through you know, you click on any video, I think it comes up and you click the, uh, I think it says join or something. It'll show you. But obviously, if you don't give a damn, then don't worry about that. Um, nothing will change, however, for the normal videos that I post. As always, those will, you know, continue. Uh, I will do my best to get them to you timely moving forward, just like this one, hopefully if it uploads properly. Um, but yeah, so that's, you know, it's been an interesting few days for me. Um, but yeah, we'll get back to it. Five trading day week should be fun. Hopefully I get some good options, you know, make some money on options. And then obviously the end of the week, we have the end of the month. It's going to be freaking busy. And then we can see how we closed out, how much in dividends, um, you know, and, and options pr premium I made for the month. I hope, you know, let me know what you, you know, how your month is going as well. Um, what else? I think that's it. So I'll stop yapping. Um, oh yeah, if you enjoy this content, please hit the like button. Duh, right? Punch it in the face. And that's yeah, keyword. I gotta give you I give you guys a damn keyword. Um <clears throat> today's keyword, I guess, you know, we gotta say flatline. Um, because all four funds really you don't, you know, if Again, do you do you care about the weeklies? If you don't, then you know who gives a damn, right? Just just bail out the synthetic. But my opinion is, why not make money on both sides, right? The, the whole idea is to make money on the weeklies, right? The synthetic is just tracking the underlying. But if you have to use the money from the, you know, the movement from the underlying on the synthetic every time, then what's the point of even doing options, right? You just use the synthetic money. They could pay us out essentially the capital gains. That's what, you know, they're doing. So um, I'll try to explain that in better in a, like a separate video. I know I have... I made like a yield max video intro way back when, and I have to redo it because I have a like strong opinions on how this, sh this fund should work. And I need to get that out 
you know, in a separate video, not just randomly here and there, but you know, stay tuned for that at some point. But, but yeah, keyword this week, if you made it this far in the video after, even with my yapping and whatever the hell I'm talking about, again, it's been a struggle. I don't even know where I'm at anymore. I just can't wait to get the hell home today and then, you know, back to normal. But if you made it this far in the video and you want to prove it, the keyword today, all you have to do is type in flatline down in the comments. All right. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for hanging in there. And thank you for continuing to hit the like button and commenting. Um, you know, huge, you know, you know, I'm hugely grateful. I can't even talk. See, all right, I'm closing out. I got to go. Have a great day. Baby, baby's probably awake, crying, whole house is awake, but let me go. And, um, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm out of here later.